Welcome to the 22nd annual Santa Barbara International Film Festival, sponsored by Media Trust. My name's Meredith Medland, and I'm here with my partner, Ted McElwee. Here we are on the red carpet. How's it going, Ted? It's going great, Meredith. I'm having a wonderful time. This has been really fun. There's lots of excitement in the air. Yes, indeed there is. This evening, we're honoring Bill Condon with the Montecito Award. We're going to see red carpet interviews and much, much more. So do stay tuned. We're looking forward to having lots of fun with you. Good, thank you. How are you doing? Pretty good. It's been great so far. Having a great time. So just enjoying the events and doing the screenings and trying to see as much as you can. You know, when you're a juror, you know, it's you know, things in the regular programming that, you know, you kind of got to work in your schedule and you're just blitzing all over the place, to, you know, to see as much as you can. That I think it's important because it's neat that you get to see something that you won't normally have an opportunity to see if you're just, you know, hanging out day to day. Um, so I think it's also neat being a juror that you get to see even more of that. So it's uh, is this the first time that you've been a juror at a uh, film festival? You know it has. I've been to you know been to, you know been to plenty. Been to you know a, a lot of cool ones, a lot of small ones, a lot of big ones. But uh, being a juror, being on the inside, you know, it's a little bit different, a uh, little bit different take, and it's kind of interesting. Do you do you find it difficult to be uh, objective? Do you have some opinions on what you uh, you find interesting? No, I think uh, we were actually having that conversation today with a couple of the other jurors that. Um, you know, everybody's sort of a mix of you know some actors and producers and directors and writers, and it's real important that you can't go in to your judging screenings with any pre preconceptions, you know, you, and and you can't come out saying I would have done this or I would have done that. So it was interesting that we all knew that going in, and then we actually talked about it today, and we all had the, we were all on the exact same page. I imagine that your attention is on a lot of things other than just the movies, because you're starting a new film festival in Nashville, uh, North Carolina. Th that's true. Um, it is, but it's interesting, you know, my, you know, I have my jury duties, so that's important as well. But, you know, being involved and being, you know, sort of inside and behind, behind the scenes, so to speak, of a great festival like Santa Barbara, ironically, is uh, one of the handful that, you know, I've looked at over the years and really kind of modeled some certain elements and the quality and, and just the kind of, you know, flow of operations. is Because, you, you know, it's not just a creative thing, it's also a business thing and an operations and development. It's, it, it's, a, it's a crazy thing, so... Uh, yeah. It's great. Now, as a juror, what advice can you give our listeners and our viewers as they're seeing movies for the rest of the week? I think it's important because at a, at a, at a really well-run festival with a good mix of programming choices to see something, I'd say the first thing you should do is grab a screening of something that you know you're not going to have a chance to see any other time if you can because then you have that experience. Uh, the other thing is, um, you know, go in objective. You know, you've got to make sure that... Uh, you know, you're not going in with any preconceptions or, 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 or ideas, whether it's off the summary or whatever. you got to go in pretty, pretty baseline. Thank you very much. Good evening. Hi, my name is Meredith, and this is Ted. Nice Hello. to meet you. <laughs> you look absolutely stunning this evening. What was your favorite part about getting ready tonight? Oh, and my hotel was my favorite part about getting ready. It's fantastic, and the thought of going back, taking these shoes off, and getting in that tub <laughs> is wonderful. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Now, on your way there, we're honoring Bill this evening. And I know you've spoken a lot about his love and his intellect. And I'm wondering if you can share with me a time that you really felt his heart and his love, a real specific moment. Well, there are, there are a lot of times, and I... You, it's hard to pinpoint, but I can start with the audition. Um, I walked in, I didn't really know what to expect, and he was smiling the moment I got there. So well, he actually came after me and he was smiling and he said, okay, so what do you want to do first? And I was like, oh, I guess I'll sing first and I'll, and I sang and he started clapping <laughs> after I sang and, and he was laughing through the audition and that is him. He is so human. There is no wall that he hides behind. And even during an audition when so many people, when you're auditioning are looking at the page and looking at you like this and giving you sort of a stone face he's absolutely in there and he's living with you and that's he's just so absolutely human and wonderful so how has your relationship to women in your life changed from working with so many fantastic women I don't think my relationship has changed due to women in this show um, I think that it's a very interesting thing 
to have women friends. And a few years ago, um, it occurred to me just how important that is. And I think that there is nothing more special, there is nothing more sacred than having women friends uh, because we understand each other. And when you get past whatever things you dealt with in high school or junior high or your own things with your mother and your grandmother and all that stuff, you find a common ground <laughs> and you're all sort of working by the light of the moon and it's fantastic. Given your Broadway experience and now you're up and coming fame as a movie star and worldwide celebrity. Can you uh, tell us any anecdotes or anything that you've shared with any of the other members of the crew about what it might be like for you now that you're starting to become sort of famous and a celebrity in your own right? I don't know. I wish I had something really witty and sage-like to say. Um, <laughs> I think that most importantly for me is to continue to be me yeah. and not to allow what this is to dictate who I'm going to be.